Hi, my name is David Precision from Do Yoga With Me. This class is for sciatic pain. Of course, you want to get the advice from a doctor to see if a class like this is appropriate for you, but this is designed to help you get relief from sciatic pain. You might need some equipment depending on your flexibility. I have a bunch of things here, a blanket, a couple of these chip foam blocks. You will definitely need a strap, but you can replace a strap with a tie or a rope as long as they're long enough. And you can replace this equipment with pillows or a few folded blankets. Enjoy the class. So you can put your equipment off to the side for now. The only thing you'll need is your strap, so have it within reach and lie on your back. And once you're on your back, just make yourself comfortable and bring your knees up to your chest and give them a hug. We're going to start with some exercises to warm up the muscles around the hips and the legs and the back so that they can be ready to be stretched. So start by placing the arms along your sides on the floor and then place your feet flat on the ground, right up close to your hips and then tilt your tailbone towards your heels so it feels like you're trying to encourage your lower back to the floor and then lengthen through the back of the neck sliding the back of your head away from from your upper shoulders and then let the shoulders rest down. Now the most important thing with these exercises is to keep your core muscles engaged, your belly muscles. So I want you to press the lower back down a little bit more. It doesn't necessarily need to reach the floor, or touch the floor, but press them down. Keep it that way and then bring the knees up so that they're just above your hips. And then lift your feet so the feet are the same height as your knees and flex the toes back a little bit. Set the shoulders down. Keep the spine nice and long so the back of the neck is long. You feel like the lower back is still pressing down. And then take a big breath in. And when we exhale, all you're going to do is straighten out your right leg. Push through the heel, flex the toes. Lower the foot down towards the floor without letting the lower back lift. And then inhale, bring it back in. Left leg, exhale, press through the heel, flex the toes, let it lower down, press the lower back down. Inhale, bring it back in. And then we'll move this a little bit faster. Exhale, push, lower, press the lower back down, inhale, bring it back in. Left leg. And then you can start to move your legs kind of like you're riding a bike, push, Bring it in, push, bring it in with the breath, push, bring it in. Watch your lower back, notice what's happening there. Keep pressing the lower back down, like you're pushing the lower back into a thin towel and you wanna keep the pressure on that towel the whole time. Good, just a few more here. If your lower back or your legs are getting sore or tired, then you just make the circle smaller. Good, a couple more breaths. Stop, bring the knees into the chest. Hug them in with your hands. Rock your body from side to side like you're massaging your back on the floor. Okay, now grab your strap. Loop it around both feet and you want to grab the loose ends of the strap with both hands and place the strap around the ball of the foot close to the base of the toes. Good and just keep a slight bend in your knees first and then walk your hands up the strap as high as they'll go. It's okay if you have a slight bend in your elbows and then loop the straps around your hands once so that you have a good grip. Good, now soften the shoulders back and then slide the back of the head towards the back of the room so the neck feels long. And then try your best to straighten out your legs. If you can't straighten out your knees, then let the feet drift away from you a little bit. Now flex the toes and spread them out. You want some really good action in your legs. Push up through the heels, press the thigh bones away from you 
and firm up your knees. Straighten them out as much as you can. And just when they become as straight as you possibly can get them, then you pull the feet towards you. Feel the weight of the legs encouraging the sitting bones down. Flex the toes, push up through the heels, press the thigh bones away, and then see if you can guide the feet a little bit closer. Set the shoulders back. Make sure that the chin isn't poking up to the ceiling. You want to keep the back of the neck long. We don't want to cause problems in other parts of the body. One more breath here. Good, now take the right foot out and leave it there. Press up through the heel, flex both of your feet back, keep the legs straight and now lower the right leg down to the ground. Now if this is too much for you, place the right foot flat on the floor with the knee bent. You can let the left foot drift away from you a little bit so that knee can straighten out again. And then if you'd like to try it, straighten out your right leg. Push the thigh bone down, push through the heel, flex the toes, get that leg as straight as you can get it, and now pull the left foot towards you. Now the most important thing is that we encourage the legs to be as long as we can, particularly the, the back of the legs. So push through the heels, press the thigh bones away from you, and lengthen, lengthen, lengthen as you're holding the stretch. Every time you exhale, you can pull that foot Every time you exhale, you can pull your left foot a little bit closer. Reach through both heels. And that right leg, you'll probably notice it wants to rotate out. You push the inner thigh down. You rotate outer thigh to inner thigh and reach through the heel. Try to rest on the very back center of the back of the heel. Okay, so let's slide that right foot in flat and down. Now take both straps in your right hand and let the left arm go out to the side. Now start by rotating the left leg to the right. Push through the heel, flex the toes, firm up that knee. And here again, you can keep the right foot flat on the floor with the knee bent or you can straighten out the leg. Keep your left hip on the floor and now guide the leg across the body, across the center line. Again, the left hip is your anchor. Push it down, push the left thigh bone away. Point the toes to the right, push the heel to the left, and then pull the leg towards your right shoulder, keeping the left hip down. Push your right thigh bone down and hold. This stretch typically has strong sensations, and it's okay. It's okay that it feels a little bit uncomfortable. What you don't want is any pinching or sharp uh, sensations bordering on pain. Let's hold this for two more breaths. Keep that right thigh pressing down. Keep pointing the toes to the right, shifting the heel to the left, pushing through that left heel. All right, now bring the leg back to its original position. Hold the straps with both hands and then slide the right foot in if it isn't already and place it flat on the floor. Now bend the knee and drop the foot down like you wanna rest it on top of your right thigh. And you can if you want. Bring that foot as close as you can and hold the straps with both hands. Make sure again that the chin doesn't poke up. You wanna keep the back of the neck long. And now flex the toes of your left foot like you wanna to touch the shin bone with your toes. Let the left knee drop out to the side and now start to guide the foot towards your right shoulder. And then just like we did in the previous pose, you can straighten out your right leg. But again, if it's too much, don't even go there. If your leg is straight, press the thigh bone down, flex the toes, guide the foot towards you. Let's take two more breaths here. Slide the right foot in 
and then straighten up your left leg. Good, let it drift away so you give your leg a little bit of a break. Now take the straps in your left hand and bring the right knee up to the chest and hold the kneecap with your right hand. Again, flex the left toes back, lengthen the left leg, guide the foot towards you so you start to feel a stretch in the back of your leg. Now pull the right knee out to the right and let the left leg fall out to the left. Keep the weight equal on the sides of your pelvis and your upper back. Again, don't let your chin poke forward. You want to keep the back of the neck long. And as you're pulling the knee out to the right, lengthen through that left heel, flex the toes, and now let the thigh bones press down away from each other. Pulling the left foot towards your left shoulder. Pulling the right knee to the right shoulder. Hold here for two more breaths. Okay, the next time you breathe in, bring your left leg up first, then your right knee, and place the right foot flat on the floor. Take both straps in your right hand, release the left arm out to the side, and we'll revisit that first stretch. Push up through the heel first. Let the foot drift away if you need to, in order to straighten that knee. Flex the toes, pull the foot closer. Rotate the leg in, toes point to the right, heel presses to the left. If you'd like to, you can straighten out your right leg, pressing the thigh bone down. Keep the left hip anchored on the floor and then bring the leg across the midline. Like you want to touch the foot to the floor outside the right shoulder. Again, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Firming up the knees, pushing up through the heel, flexing the toes. Press the heel to the left, toes point to the right, pushing the right thigh bone down. Hold here for two breaths. And bring the leg back to center. Take the straps in both hands. Slide the right foot in till the foot is flat. Bend the left knee, drop the foot down towards the thigh. Flex the toes of the left foot. Let the left knee drop out to the side. You can even press it away from you. And then pull the foot towards your heart. You can hold the foot with your right hand if it's close enough. And you can straighten out your right leg. Push the thigh bone down if you've done that. Reach through the heel, flex the toes. Equal weight on the sides of the pelvis. Guiding the foot to the right shoulder, holding for two more breaths. Slide the right foot in until it's flat on the floor. Straighten up your left leg, holding both straps with the hands. Let the foot drift away a little bit to give the leg a little bit of relief. Bring the right knee in, hold it with your right hand. Guide the foot a little bit closer. Straighten up through the heel, flex the toes, firming up that left knee. Pull the right knee out to the right, left leg falls out to the left. Find a good balance of weight so the weight stays equal on the sides of the pelvis. Push through the heel, flex the toes of that left leg, and then pull the foot towards your left ear. Pull the right thigh bone towards the floor. Stay for two breaths. Okay, when you breathe in, left leg comes in first, then the right knee. Place your right foot flat on the ground. Take both straps in your right hand. Left arm goes out to the side. Push up through the left heel, flex the toes. 
Third time's a charm. Point the toes to the right, left heel to the left. Now when you bring the leg across, you can let the left hip come off the floor. And it might help here for everybody to straighten out their right leg. When you do that, press the thigh bone down, reach through both heels, flex the toes of both feet back, and then guide the leg across. The left hip comes off, you're moving into a little bit of a twist. If you need to, you can loosen the right hand on the strap and drop the elbow to the floor until you feel like you're now you're lifting the heel to the ceiling, pointing the toes to the floor. Again, push through the heels of both legs. Push that right thigh bone down, push the left thigh bone away from you, and hold for two breaths. When you breathe in, the leg floats back up. Take the straps in both hands, bend the knee, slide the right foot in, and then let the foot, the left foot, drift towards your right shoulder. Let the knee drift away. Flex the toes, keep the back of the neck long again, and now pull the foot towards you. You can grab the foot again if you'd like to, and you can straighten out your right leg. Push the thigh bone down, flex the toes, equal weight on the sides of the pelvis, Neck is nice and long. Two breaths here. Release the stretch. Let the foot drift back up until your leg is straight. And now grab both straps in your left hand and now release the right arm out to the side. So we're doing that same stretch where the left leg falls out to the left, but this time you're keeping the right leg straight and pressing the thigh bone down. If it ends up being too much, you can go back to that original stretch, pulling the right knee out to the right. Take a breath in with that right leg straight and long, push through the heel, press the thigh bone down, lengthen up through the left heel and now let the left leg follow to the left. Press your right thigh bone down. Press your right thigh bone down. Reach through the heel. Pull the left foot towards your left ear and firm up both knees. Two breaths here. Okay, when you breathe in next, the left leg floats back up. Slide your right foot in until the foot is flat on the ground. Then drape the left leg over the right thigh so the knee rests right on top. You can place the strap on the ground off to the side. So it should feel like your thighs are right on top of each other. There's no space between them. The arms go to the sides. And now shift your hips just an inch or two to the right so that the knees can fall to the left. Go ahead and do that. Drop the knees to the left and then turn your head to the right into this nice gentle hip twist. Let the weight of the legs create the stretch. Feel that really nice pull right up into the hip and the lower back. Hold here for one more breath. When you breathe in, the knees flow back up. Now shift the hips a little bit to the left. Keep the legs crossed the way they are. Let the knees fall to the right. Turn the head to the left. Feel free to slip something under your knees for support if you feel like you need it. If you want to go a little bit deeper, use your right hand to guide the knees a little bit closer to the ground. Two breaths here. Remember, just be cautious of what kind of sensations you're feeling in your hips and your lower back. You don't want any sharp sensations. You don't want dull, aching, or pain. 
You should only feel stretch. And sometimes that's uncomfortable, but it should always feel like stretch. Okay, and the knees drift back up. Bring the hips back to center. Unravel the legs. Hug them into your chest. Rock from side to side. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So first, slipping the strap around the bottom of both of your feet and straightening those legs up. Walking the hands up close to the feet and then looping the strap around your hands. Starting with slight bends in your knees, let the feet drift away from you a little bit and then straighten them out until you can fully straighten your legs. Push through the heels, flex the toes, soften the shoulders back, lengthen the back of the neck. Take a breath in, firm up your knees, press up through the heels, flex the toes. Keep those legs charged as you exhale and pull the feet towards you. Notice if the legs feel different now. And stay here for two breaths. Keep pressing the thigh bones away. Keep reaching the heels up, flexing the toes back, softening the shoulders back. Now the left foot slips out. Keep it where it is, just outside of the strap. Push up through both heels, flex the toes, firm up the knees, and now lower the left leg to the floor. Remember to rotate outer thigh to inner thigh as you rest the very center of the back of the heel on the ground. Let the right foot drift away. Push that left thigh bone down, reach through the heel, flex the toes. Press your right thigh away from you as you push up through the heel and then pull the foot closer until you get that wonderful sensation to stretch in the back of the right leg. Two breaths. Now let the foot drift away a little bit. Take both straps in your left hand and release your right arm out to the side, out to the right. Push up through the right heel to firm up that right knee, pressing your left thigh bone down. Again, you can slide the left foot in and place it flat on the ground if that feels better to you. If the leg is straight, press the thigh bone down, reach through the heel. Now push up through the right heel. Flexing the toes, let's turn the foot so the toes are pointing to the left. Press the heel to the right. Keep your right hip on the floor and guide the leg across the midline of the body. Like you want to touch the toes to the floor outside the left shoulder. Right hip anchors down heavily. Heel presses to the right. Thigh bone presses away. Reaching up through the heel as you guide the leg across and the left thigh bone presses down. One more breath here. Okay, bring the leg back to center. Slide the left foot in. Bend your right knee and take the straps in both hands. Let the right knee fall out to the right. And the foot comes in towards your left shoulder. Walk the hands up the strap. Lengthen the back of the neck. Pull the foot towards you. You can even press your right knee away from you. Remember to flex the right toes so that ankle stays strong and aligned. And then you can also straighten out your left leg and firmly press that thigh bone down. Hold here for two breaths. Soften the shoulders. Remember that stretch is all about putting only the effort you need into the stretch and then allowing the release to happen where you feel it. So don't tense up the face and the shoulders and the neck. Only using the effort you need to pull the foot towards you and allowing the hip and the back and the leg to release. Okay, now allow that leg to straighten back up, sliding the left foot in. 
Take both straps in your right hand, bring the left knee in. Pull it in with your left hand, right around the kneecap. And then pull the left knee out to the left, like you want to touch the thigh to the floor. Let the right leg fall out to the right. You can rest the right elbow on the ground. Now push through the right heel, firm up that knee, flex the toes. Keep equal weight on the sides of your pelvis as you pull the left knee down and up towards your shoulder. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen through that right leg. Thigh bones press away from each other and you pull the knee and the foot towards the outer shoulders. One more breath here. Okay, when you breathe in, the right leg comes up first, then the left knee. Place the left foot flat on the floor. Take the straps in your left hand, release the right arm out to the side. Now let the foot drift away a little bit until you can fully straighten your right knee, flex the toes, push up through the heel, guide the foot closer, finding the stretch. Again, you can straighten out your left leg if you'd like to. Keep the right hip anchored on the floor. Press the heel to the right, toes to the left. Keep that left thigh bone pressing down and then guide the leg across. Right hip stays anchored. Left thigh bone presses down. Two breaths here. Lengthen firm up that right knee. Press the heel to the right. Point the toes to the left. Right hip is anchored heavily. Left thigh bone pressing down as you reach through that left heel. Let the foot drift back up. Slide left foot in flat on the floor. Bend the knee, pull the foot towards you as the knee falls out to the right. So again, you can hold on to the foot with your left hand if you'd like to. Push the knee away, keep the weight equal on the sides of the pelvis and lengthen the back of the neck. Pull the foot towards your left shoulder. And again, you can straighten out the left leg if you'd like to. If you do, press that thigh bone down, firmly reach through the heel, and hold for two breaths. Keep the toes flexing back in both of your feet. Okay, come out of the stretch, slide the left foot in. Straighten out your right leg, grab the straps with your right hand. Bring the left knee in. And again, letting the legs fall away from each other. Press through the heel first, flex the toes. Pull the left knee out to the side. Let the right leg fall out to the right. Thigh bones pressing away from each other. Weight stays equal on the sides of the pelvis. Press through that right heel. Two breaths. Pull the foot and the knee up towards the outer shoulders. Back of the neck stays long and the shoulders stay relaxed back. Remember the balance between effort and release. You should be able to let go a certain amount in this stretch and still maintain the stretch, but allow the release to happen more. Okay, when you breathe in, the right leg comes in first, then the left knee. Place the left foot flat on the floor. Take the straps in your left hand, right arm goes out to the side. Let the foot drift away a little bit so you can fully straighten the knee. Now push up through that right heel. Push the thigh bone away as you flex the toes back. And then press the heel to the right, toes to the left. So you're rotating the leg in. Even the kneecap points to the left. Straighten out your left leg. Press the thigh bone down. Now the hip comes off the floor as you guide the leg across the body. Keep pressing through the heel, pushing the thigh bone away. Press your left thigh bone down. Lift the heel and point the toes down to the floor now. Hold for two breaths. Pushing through those knees. Pressing the thigh bones. Pressing through the heels. Now bring the leg back up. Bend the knee. Slide the left foot until it's flat. Guide the foot in, let the knee fall out to the side. Again, you can hold the foot with the left hand if you'd like to. Flex the toes, 
pull the foot to your left shoulder. Equal weight on the sides of the pelvis, back of the neck is long. Again, you can straighten out your left leg. Press the thigh bone down. Two breaths. Encourage the release. Straighten up that right leg as the left foot comes back in. Take the straps of both of the hands. Now let the foot drift away a little bit. Push through the heel so you can firm up your knee. Straighten out the left leg again as you press the thigh bone down and release the left arm out to the side. Now press the left hip bone down, anchor. Press the thigh bone down as you reach through the heel and let the right leg fall out to the right. You can rest the elbow on the floor if that works. Push and firm up both knees. Turn the foot so it's parallel to the ground and guide the foot towards your right ear. Back of the neck stays long and two breaths here. Okay, when you breathe in again, lift the foot. Slide the left foot in and now drape the right leg over the left thigh. So the knee rests right on top. Place the strap off to the side. Reach your arms out to the sides. Shift your hips a little bit to the left and let the knees fall to the right. Turn the head to the left. Let the weight of the legs create the stretch here. Two breaths. And feel free to slip something under the knees if you need the support. Okay, next time you breathe in, the knees drift up. Shift the hips a little bit to the right now. And let the knees fall to the left as your head turns to the right. The knees drop, you can use a left hand to guide the knees a little bit further down. Okay, now look up. Let the knees float back up. Now unravel the legs, place the feet flat on the floor and center your hips. Bring the knees up, give them a hug into the chest and rock from side to side. And then roll onto your side, press yourself up to a seated position. And you'll start sitting cross-legged with the left foot in front of the right. And if you find that your knees are quite high or your lower back is sagging and it gets sore and tired, you can prop yourself up on a block or a pillow, whatever you have, sit right up on top of it you can even use two of them if you need the height or a couple of blankets. So the hands go on the knees. Now we're going to cup the kneecaps with the palms. Take a breath in, lift the back of the heart, look up like you're arching the back over a bar that's behind the shoulder blades. And now exhale, round the back, tuck the chin and press your back towards the floor behind you. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, lift up, press the heart up. And exhale, round back. Last one, inhale, lift the heart. So you're coming onto the front edge of your sitting bones as you lift. And then exhale, come onto the back edge of the sitting bones as you round back. Now come up and see if you can sit taller. Place the right hand on the floor. Push the left knee down. Take a breath in and turn the chest to the right knee. Lift the heart over the thigh. And then exhale and let the chest and the head drop towards the knee and pressing that left knee down, keep the left sitting bone rooted. And we'll take two breaths here. Every time you breathe in, see if you can lift the left side of your ribs away from the hip bone a little bit more. And then exhale, see if you can sink a little bit further. Again, one more breath. Inhale, lifting the left side of the ribs away from the hip bone. And then exhale, sinking a little bit more. and then come back up. Extend your right leg out to the side now. Place the left foot against the inner thigh. Reach to the big toe with your right hand and drop the elbow inside the thigh. You could even 
place the back of the hand on the floor and slip the, the palm under the calf if that works. Press the thigh bone down, flex the toes, firm up that knee, place your left hand on your lower back. And now lift up tall, right up on top of the sitting bones. Keep the right thigh bone pressing down. Take a breath in and turn the heart to face the sky. And then exhale, sweep the arm over the head like you want to touch your right toes. Right thigh presses down, toes flex back. Take a breath in, lift the heart a little bit higher. And then exhale, reach through the fingertips, firming up that left elbow, firming up the right knee. One more breath. And breathe in to come up. Now the right leg comes in front of the left. Place the hands on the knees. Sit up nice and tall, cup the kneecaps. Take a breath in, lift the heart up. Look up, round the upper back. And then exhale, the chin drops, come onto the back edge of the sitting bones as you round the spine back. Inhale, pull on the knees, lift the heart, look up. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale. Now take a breath in and sit up tall. Now the left hand drops to the floor, right hand presses the knee down. Turn to face the left knee. As you breathe in again, lift the heart, lengthen the spine, and then exhale. Let the chest and the head drop towards the left thigh. Anchor that right hip down, pressing the knee down. Every time you breathe in, Lift the right side of the ribs away from the right hip bone. Exhale, sink a little bit more. And one more breath. And then inhale to come up. Extend your left leg out to the side now. Right foot to the inner thigh. Reach the left arm to the big toe, drop the elbow down. Slip the hand under the calf, press the thigh bone down, press through the heel and flex the toes. Now place the right hand on your lower back. Sit up tall so you're right up on top of the sitting bones. And then turn the head and the chest to face the ceiling. And then sweep the right arm over the head in line with the spine. Press the left thigh bone down, flex the toes, take a breath in. Lift the heart and exhale, firm up your right elbow, firm up your left knee and reach for those toes. One more breath. Okay, as you breathe in, come back up. Bring that left leg back in and let's straighten out the legs. Give them a shake and then make your way onto your back. Place a few flat on the floor. You can just lower yourself onto your elbows. And then onto your back. Rest the head on the floor. Slip something under your knees if that feels better when you're lying on your back. We're moving right into our final resting pose, Shavasana. And then rest your arms wherever they are comfortable as well. So Shavasana is all about rest. Allowing all of the muscles that have been working so hard today to relax. And enjoy the benefits of what we've done. So close your eyes and allow your body and your mind to rest.
Okay, when you're ready, you can bring the knees up to the chest. Roll on to your side. Press yourself up to a seated position. Just take a moment to bring your hands together in front of your heart. If you can, if you do have sciatic issues, do this class frequently, daily or every second day if you can, or do elements of the class. You don't have to do everything that we've done in class today. Do each step, maybe once or twice every day to encourage the looseness in your hips. Take good care of yourself and see you next time. Namaste.